monster. Got it? Yeah, I'm back. Ugh. Yeah, I'm back. Been sick. Oh, really sick for a long time, man. Uh, I got sick. Well, I went to see Kiss last Saturday. Today is Saturday the 20... Let's see, 5th, 4th, 3rd. February 23rd, Saturday. This, that's today. Last Saturday, on the 16th, I went to see Kiss at the Forum. Why am I down so far? Oh, because I wanted you to see the guitar. Okay, so, I went to the Forum, saw Kiss with my friend. I used my handicap stuff to get in, because technically I am kind of handicapped still. I can't stand for a long time. I can't sit, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I used it. And that is a good thing to use. We got, you know, forum club parking and, and great seats. And, you know, everybody, like, part of the seas for us. So that was cool. The opening act was a painter. And he did three paintings. One of, uh, Marcus Welby. Why the hell? Freddie Mercury. And Jimi Hendrix, which he painted upside down. And everybody's like, what is that? And then he flips it, and it's Jimi Hendrix. Now, this is a pretty cool opening act. I'm like, surprising. Pretty cool. Then he does, of course, Kiss. With a very fuzzy, weird-looking Tommy Ace Peter Eric thing. I think he did that on purpose. With a Paul and Gene in the middle. And I wouldn't pay five bucks for it. That was the worst one he did. And that apparently went for a lot. They auctioned it off on uh, KLOS. But the so the show did sell out. They dropped the ticket prices to nothing. So by the time 9 o'clock hit, showtime, it was packed. I hadn't seen it like that since 77. So, wow. Crazy. Because 79 it wasn't that, it wasn't sold out. And, uh, oh, well, reunion. That's last time. So, yeah, it was, it was like the reunion tour. It was that crowded. It was amazing. And, uh, I don't know what Motley Crue's griping about, you know, because... Everybody uses that same stuff, you know, the things that get out over the audience. Everybody's doing that now. It's this guy's idea, the set designer. So Kiss is ripping him off. Tommy and Nicky are probably pissed off because their movie sucks. The Dirt, which I saw last, last Monday night <laughs> when I was sick. But I had a chance to see it, so I went down. My friend put me in a little room where they do quality quality control, and I watched it, and I did not really like it. Because I was there, and Mick, you know, I was a huge Mick fan. This guy doesn't even look like Mick. He doesn't act like Mick. It's stupid. The guy, the Tommy Lee guy, he's such an dorky idiot that he fits Tommy Lee because Tommy Lee was a friggin idiot dork just like he is now but he was the worst back then and Nikki doesn't look really right and he doesn't have that because Nikki is not as cool as Nikki thinks he is <laughs> but if you've seen the Queen movie which I saw a couple weeks ago and I don't really know Queen that well. I thought, holy crap, they really got this. They got, this is really good. But I'm not a big Queen fan. So if they're going for a big audience, which they're not because this is only a Netflix release and not movies like Queen was for a few weeks, <clears throat> they did it and uh, Queen, and that was pretty good. You know, I watched it one time, and I'm done. 
I don't know why I ordered it online, uh, the DVD. And as soon as I ordered it, I could just punch in a code and watch it, and that's what I did. And I'm like, ah. Oh. By the time I got the DVD, I... <clears throat> but I did watch The Dirt, and I, eh, I don't know. Maybe if I saw it again, I might like it. But they're kind of smushing stuff together, which I don't think should be smashed together like that to make to tell the whole story, because that's not the way it worked. But uh, I don't know. You'll see pretty soon, March twenty second. You'll it'll be out. So if you've seen the first trailer, that's just the first trailer. I also saw. I think there was three trailers, three or four trailers. So this is the kickstart my heart one, as far as I know. Each one is kind of like based on... Because I know they played uh, Home Sweet Home too, but there's another one... I can't remember. I was, he didn't really have them ready for me. They were just tacked on to the end of this uh, digibeta thing that he showed me. But anyway, so, yeah, seeing the dirt... Uh, uh, last week, the show for Kiss was very impressive. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell when Paul was lip syncing. I just knew when he was lip syncing, like the scream at a hundred thousand years. You know, when he's when the fire goes up. Uh, when it's just the bass and the, and that sounded incredible. Drum solo, incredible. He he took pieces from Peter's solo. He took a little from Eric. Uh, really good. I, you know, Eric Singer is really trying to pay tribute to the past, where Tommy could give a flying leap. He's got curly li little poodle hair. Ace never had curly poodle hair. Get it together, Tommy. You're getting paid for this. You're getting paid to act like the spaceman. Do it! Okay, so there you go. Other than that, if Ace was playing, it would have been great. But because Ace wasn't playing, it was okay. How's that? And I was expecting it to suck because the Monday before I saw them at the whiskey and they did suck. And I've heard people say they played 16 songs, 14 songs, 12 songs, 6 songs, 8 songs. I don't know how many they played, but when I got sick of them, I walked out and that was at about five or six I just it just people were like as loud as they are here right now that's how loud they were it's like what the heck do they actually know kisses on stage apparently not but anyways it was embarrassing so I walked out it was just it was like watching somebody trip and fall and then get up and trip and fall again <laughs> I just got out of there so so maybe that's why I thought kiss on Saturday was so great I don't know so anyways I bought two guitars because I've been very sick so I had nothing to do but look at the internet I bought this from a guy that wanted a at a ski or a what do you call it a board ski boarding event <laughs> yeah I'm hip this thing was wrapped and everything I'm sure it's an epiphone blah 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 it's got all it's I mean his brand flapping new he he says, I haven't even unwrapped it. I don't want it. He goes, I got to go back out on tour or whatever he's doing. So his wife will send it. And it'll you'll get it by, you know, the beginning of next month. I'm like, eh, whatever. I got it before I got my other guitar. Which I kind of did want. This one was a Pirates of the Caribbean tribute. Do you remember that when they did this with uh, Epiphone Gibson? They did it for uh, Johnny Depp so he could play it on stage. And they sold a few. And I think the Epiphones went for about 1200 and the Gibsons went for a lot more than that. But the Epiphones are really nice. I want to have to wrap this up again because I'm sending it back but uh, you'll see why in a second but if you can see the body body looks cool see that cool looking body 
The fret markers actually have little skulls on them. This is, these have got little, uh, that's loose. But these have got little red, uh, it's really nice. Oh my god, yeah. And can you see the skulls? This is all a very nice neck. It's not a bolt on. It's just a, uh, see the head? It kind of has a problem staying on. It's broken completely off. They snapped it completely off in shipping. Look at that. So, I told the guy, the dude, the head is broke off. He goes, really? Send me pictures so I can estimate a, uh, some, a uh, compensation. I mean, compensation, my ass. You're taking this piece of firewood back. I'm pissed. I wanted this one. This is a nice one. It's got a, a skull and crossbone thing up on the head. You know, this thing. Headstock, that's uh, red. Everything's blood red. Skull, crossbone. And it's just, it's broken. I've taken it to two different guys and they said it really isn't worth fixing because this one is, uh, I mean, even though it's the Epiphone and it goes online, you can find these for three to six. And I got this one for like two something. So I'm like, yeah, I scored. Yeah, I scored nothing. I got, it. I didn't get ripped off. It's just the guy should have really packed this thing a lot better. I don't think he knows what he had. I think he, he's, well, actually he does, is a pawn shop idiot. He thinks this is like somebody painted it on a guitar and kind of, you know, ruin the price. No, this is a something Epiphone put out. It's really nice. No one could no one would have done that to the friggin' fret markers and all. I'm an idiot. Anyway, so this is was gonna be a killer SG. Really nice. I bought this instead of a black beauty SG with three gold pickups. And boy I screwed up there. So Get out of here, jackass. All right, so I'll let you hear this, and that's it. I'm done talking. But if you got any questions, feel free to say something. I'm just going to play this sucker. Ready? in the wrong key. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh man, I haven't played in two weeks. Those videos I did, I did in the beginning of last week. Wait, two weeks ago. These are way out of shape. Not that I was a guitar virtuoso anyways. And everybody just stopped watching. Some people said, you know, take care. I think one or two. Take care. Hope you feel better. Yeah, thanks all my millions of hundreds of nobody fans. I'm, I'm right up there still at 670 something, whatever the fuck. But now I won't turn on lights because then you won't be able to see this beautiful uh, custom monster guitar. Right? Let's put some Randy in it and let's, yeah, let's put some Randy in it. I'm using the little, I'm just using the EVH overdrive a little bit. <laughs>
Yeah. All right, there you go, metal. Woo! Subscribe, subscribe to the damn channel. Oh, it's been almost two weeks, man. I haven't yelled at you in a long time, and I really can't do it now. But if you don't subscribe, it's gonna suck. Yeah. So just do it, man. You know you want to see more of me. And you know you don't want to hear me say sometimes. And I don't like saying it. And I'm tired of putting the little red box up there. I'm just asking you nicely to hit the subscribe button. Even if I suck today, some days I don't. Some days I'm even worse. But there's usually a new guitar... Epiphone, you got it. See? Alright. See you guys later. Keep metal and rocking whatever you choose out to do. And subscribe. Uh, the new Motley movie is probably crap as far as I'm concerned. I've only seen it once. And I was, it was not impressed because the mic was so bad that it kind of just ruined it for me. Everybody else is, oh, maybe. But Mick, no. Not his personality, nothing. It's like the, they just picked some jackass off the street and said, and put a wig on him and said, yeah, that's Mick Mars. Yeah, that's what Are you sure? Are you sure that's not Joan Jett's boyfriend? Not boyfriend, brother. Not even Joan Jett, because he doesn't—he just doesn't look right. He looks like a doofus with a wig. Mick Mars looked cool. The end, right? Right.